Hello there, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute. You're gonna have to forgive my spring break hair. Yeah, I had intentions for color, but I did not quite get there. And uh, I've been working out, so I look like a pig. <laughs> However, I have this massive Scentsy haul that I really wanna share with you. This is a haul from their flash sale that just occurred. And if I tally any longer, it this stuff will be completely irrelevant. And I do want to share this now because while many of these items have sold out, many others are still available in the clearance section. And anyway, I like seeing haul videos, even if they're a little bit outdated because it gives me, it'll give you a pretty good indication, I believe, of the types of bargains that can be found on Scentsy roughly one month past the catalog transition date. And we are currently on the spring, summer 2022 catalog. But all of these things, of course, were being cleared out of the warehouse from the fall winter catalog. Included in this haul will be some warmers, some buddies, a buddy clip, and of course, lots of wax. So there will be timestamps listed below if you're only interested in one of those categories. But first, let's look at some of my warmers. All of my Scentsy warmers were purchased from October through the winter catalog. So most of those had sort of a holiday twist and I thought it was time to box those up and um, I was able to find some wonderful non-seasonal warmers in that flash sale. So the first one I'm going to share with you is called Starry Frontier. This is a ceramic 25 watt warmer. Um, that's sort of my go-to. That is the type of warmer from Scentsy that will burn the hottest. And this one is, even though it has a little design etched in the front, it's very subtle. It has a nice kind of outdoorsy scene on the warmer, as you'll see here in a moment. And I thought it was neutral enough to fit my decor. We're, we live in Pinehurst, North Carolina, so while we don't have elk, we certainly see uh, probably more deer than dogs in my neighborhood. Um, that and the spruces and the pine trees are just a beautiful, beautiful, subtle detail on this porcelain ceramic warmer. The dish is quite large. It has a number four on the bottom, which indicates that you can put up to four cubes of wax from one of the Scentsy wax bars into the warmer at any given time without really risking a wax event. I am um, struggling with this bulb. Everything comes very nicely packed from Scentsy. I've never had any issues with any warmers arriving damaged. And I will just add the bulb and add some b-roll footage for you of this warmer in action. This will this one will probably stay in my office but I haven't decided yet. I need a warmer out there in my dining room and I need one in my foyer as well. So just setting that to the side. I do save all the packing materials um, in the event that I ever sort of rotate through these and put some in temporary storage for seasonal purposes. Um, I would imagine it's also really nice if you decide to de-haul, de-stash any of your warmers um, for any future purchasers. It would be nice to have all the, all of the guts, so I do save all of these. Okay, the second warmer I was able to pick up is the Acute Copper, and this is a much more modern design, which is a little bit outside of my comfort zone, but I like it. It's kind of a mosaic, mosaic set in grout. This one is a, let's see, I don't know how many watts this one is. It will say on the bottom. I will also be able to tell from the bulb. This is also a 25 watt warmer. I can tell that from the size of the bulb. The dish comes very well protect, protected in this little cardboard box, also wrapped in bubble wrap. These dishes are stockpiled on Scentsy's website, and I'll link mine below. Um, if you have an accident and break one of your dishes, 
from what I've seen on the website, it's pretty easy to find a replacement that will fit. This is also four centi cubes the size. This is a glass dish and a glass warmer. Glass mosaic. Very pretty. I don't know if you can see that glass through there, but it has kind of a copper glass mosaic motif. It does have a knockout for the cord. So this is what this one looks like. Very pretty. I think I like it. Even though it's quite modern, it looks a bit like crushed refuse um, from a glass recycling plant. Um, I still enjoy it. Okay, and this one I intended for my foyer. Uh, we kind of we have a console table out there, and I will insert again some B-roll so you can see this puppy in action. And I believe I paid $14 for this warmer, so really I could not resist the temptation. I did pick up a Scentsy Buddy clip, Hamish, which is a breed of cow that I can't remember the name of currently, but I actually had a friend here in North Carolina who um, has moved since moved to Tennessee, but his family raised these cattle and they are super cute. This one is scented in vanilla. It's either sugar cookie or vanilla buttercream. I'm not certain I could tell them apart without comparing it to the bar, but smells wonderful and I just attach them to my little work bag. I work with adolescents and my classroom sometimes needs some help, so I enjoy that any little scent boost I can get. Okay, I also caved in and picked up Eeyore. Full-size Scentsy Buddy from, of course, Winnie the Pooh. And I'm a voracious reader. Eeyore is for me <laughs> and my enjoyment. Eeyore is so cute. Remember, he used to lose his tail and this one has a little tether attached and a magnet magnet so he can't actually lose it in your home but look at his little bow so cute these are so plush so soft and they all of the scentsy buddies come with a little pouch in the back for your scent packet which i have kicking around somewhere on my desk um after i film this i really need to film an empties video because uh i can no longer see my desk and <coughs> Excuse me, I need to get rid of some of this. All right, so there is Eeyore, super cute. Um, he's gonna hang out here in my home library. I was also super thrilled to pick up two waxes that I adore. And the first one is Midnight Fig. This, to my nose, is a dead ringer for the diptyque scent Philosicos, which is a fig par parfum. It's a wonderful blend of fig, sap, fruit, and wood, and it is gorgeous. So I do have this in my club. It's another perk that, again, um, I believe this one may have finally sold out. The next one that I'm going to show you is currently, as of the time of this filming, still in the clearance section. And that is the Spiced Apple Chestnut from, this was hands down my favorite scent from the scent of the season pack over the holidays. And this is kind of a cedary spiced apple and it's just to my nose completely intoxicating. Very much a fall scent for me. I picked up two bars. Once these are gone, I will have to say goodbye. I do have three cubes left in my stash. So I feel like that's a good run towards next season. And hopefully by then I find another delicious apple scent that I won't mind so much the fact that I'll never be able to see this one again. Um, so still available if you're interested in that kind of thing. Okay, that wraps up my damage for the flash sale. I hope if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. I'm an independent Scentsy consultant. I will link my website below. If you're interested in anything you saw today, please check out the clearance section under specials on my website. And if you have any questions about anything you see, reach out in the comments and I would be happy to chat with you. Thanks so much for watching. Ciao.